Welcome back to Prime Story. Our next guest says that if you're at the beginning or at a stage in your college planning where you need someone who specializes in providing you with a career path based on your interests or need to find the college majors that lead to your dream career and tell you which colleges offer you those majors, she's here to help. Please welcome Connie Cooper, founder of Expanded Learning Horizons. Thanks for joining us. It's good to be here, Kelly. Wow, I went through your website and I was thinking, what a plethora of information that you had. I didn't even know where to start. So my first question to you is, how did you come up with you know, starting this business? Uh, I, I taught for 33 years. I love teaching. I taught at Fullerton College uh -huh. for 25 years. I taught eight years in high schools. I was born and raised here in Orange County. And I was all set. My husband and I had saved $10,000 for our daughter's education and they were ready and they came up with schools that were gonna cost 60,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> then I was, you know, briefly I was widowed, applied for financial aid, got turned down, got mad. Oh. And so I ordered, you know, there's a five page a booklet that you fill out called uh -huh. the FAFSA. Well, I got the book that is like 587 pages that the financial aid officers use, right. and I read that book, and I had already put 5,000 down for my first daughter's college, and I found a $4,000 pot of money in there. Wow. And I found out that I was eligible for it. And so from being turned down to getting 4,000 out of 5,000 back, I then started helping my kids in my college classroom first mm -hmm. and then they started sending me their cousins and their friends and eventually I um, opened up a home office and during the, my last 10 years of teaching I had about 7,000 families come through my home office. I learned more about financial aid than I ever wow. wanted to know but it became more and more of a help to families uh -huh. and I finally got to the point where I retired from teaching and I opened up an office in Tustin <laughs> and then I found out how I could really help kids with financial aid because if you don't know what you want to major in exactly. then you're going to end up spending five, six, seven years in college. If you don't know how to study you're going to drop out and so we developed a program where we have five steps that we know the kids okay. need before they start college. Let's go through some of these things that you have because you brought a lot of things with you. This is an actual kit that comes to them, correct? They can get the kit. They can do all this at home because okay. we have kids in sports, kids that are homeschooled, kids that are just too busy to come into mm -hmm. our Tustin office. Mm -hmm. And so I have 15 hours of professional counseling time that they get with our program okay. with this information. Or they can come into our office and they can see the counselors one on one. Okay, like this college. Oh, uh, this, this is thing. this is wonderful. This is the customized notebook for okay. our students. Okay that is set for each student based on what their needs are. Okay. And it starts off with helping them learn how to study. You know, I think the most common thing I learned from students when they come in was, I don't know how to take tests. I'm a bad test taker. It's a learned skill. So we start off by teaching them how to learn how their brain works. So that's step one. Inside there though, it, yes. it has different... Inside, if I hold it still, yeah. okay, we start <laughs> off with a welcome, okay. okay, and then how to study. Okay, so it's and basically they're going strategies. through the strategies of how to take notes, how to manage their time, and we have comments from kids. In general, they go up one grade point average once they finish this. Is it pretty easy? Is it pretty easy? You know, if you're used to not studying, uh -huh. it's not easy. Yeah. You have to learn. Because that, that, that big book is like, ah! <laughs> oh, this is I'm looking at it going, oh my God, it's a lot of information. <laughs> when they get it, it's not always this big because as they do it, they okay. fill it up. I get it. Because here they're going to learn about how their brain works, how, I gotcha. how they learn and so forth. So they will keep printing it out and okay. filling it up or they'll come to class. Let's go on to the video. Oh, I love that. We were talking earlier. I was saying that I was a visual learner because I learn everything by visual. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that video. Video vocab. I love this. Some kids have a really hard time learning words, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. If they read a lot, it really helps. But one of my friends who actually taught in high schools was very frustrated because he could not get mm -hmm. the kids to learn the words. He made flashcards, okay? Mm -hmm. Kids can make flashcards. He made lists of words. And he finally went to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Don't even kids, get me started. Kids convinced him <laughs> of coming with them, uh -huh. and he never saw the show. He said, Connie, I kept looking at the kids. They knew every word in oh, the yeah. script. Every, so every he word, out, every, every that's possible right. thing that they He's do. He's taken every SAT test. There's seven 
SAT tests a year, mm -hmm. all different. He's taken all seven for the last 10 years. He has a list of all the words mm -hmm. that are on those tests and then the ones that are asked twice, three times, and he's narrowed it down. And his, his textbook that goes with it mm -hmm. is called 167 Words You Absolutely Positively Have to Know. Wow. And what the kids do is they watch the tape uh -huh. because it has uh, 15 famous scenes clips from movies uh, everybody that they recognizes would know? sure when you when like, i say lucy stomping grapes oh okay okay that scene he bought the rights to use it educationally okay. and so he starts the scene the words are then um enunciated uh-huh 10 15 words then they run the scene using those words to explain the scene oh. then they run the scene without those words and the kids remember the come words. up with sentences oh. then they use this book to then, it's just two pages, and they use those words, and they have them in the kinds of questions that they ask on the SATs oh. and the ACTs. Wow. And so that's why in developing our program, kids can take an SAT, an ACT, SAT 2s, PSATs, uh -huh. there's all these different confusions. Our program includes PSAT, uh -huh. SAT, and ACT. And with all the changes in the SAT that are coming next year, we want to make sure that the kids are, are taking the right um, test preparation. So some of them are going to want to take ACT. Talk to me so, about that CD right there. That's an audio CD, correct? This is... Yeah. Or is that a DVD? This is a DVD. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I get that's okay. <laughs> and um, it's the same thing? This is... No, these are from films. Okay, these and from, what does that do? And the kids take an actual SAT or ACT or uh -huh. PSAT. This will then grade them and give them a five-page evaluation of the specific skills they don't know yet. Oh. So if you're poor in math, that's one thing. If you're poor in a particular area of math, math like gridded answers, uh -huh. this will identify it and then it has tutorials written by a Stanford professor uh -huh. on every skill that's in the SAT. This year there's 36 math skills and there's 22 verbal skills and how to review them are on here. So uh -huh. instead of having to go to a classroom where you've got unlimited amount of students being taught the same thing, this customizes what the kids need. Wow. And then my counselors make sure they do it. I have a wonderful classroom over in my center, uh -huh. and my, my SAT coach um, is a, a fantastic gentleman who's a graduate from Berkeley um, with his major in film and English. And he really helps these kids learn what they need to do. We also have SAT two courses. Wow. And that's even more important these days. How early do you start this? I mean, I, I noticed on your website that you have programs that are in the middle school. You know, I started with seniors, and the last year I was at home, I had 1,200 hysterical families. And I thought, this has got to go. I've got to start yeah. earlier. And so okay. we kept backing up, and now we have a program called Early Start for 7th and 8th graders. Okay. We have a lot of 6th graders come to our seminars. We give seminars every weekend. Fabulous education for families and their kids. I was just going to ask you, we got about one minute before we got to go. Mm -hmm. um, what's the most important thing for parents to know for their kids to get ready for college? Help them read more. Turn off the TVs. Turn off the computers. They've got to learn our language. Yeah. And if I could help. Now, how do you do that? <laughs> I'd love to know that. But that's why the kids come in and they really enjoy going through a whole program where they can do remedial work or start with just yeah. mastering it. Go into, with a counselor, learning the careers that they would be most successful with, so they select the college yeah. that offers those careers. Yeah. And then have a counselor help them put together all those questions that yeah. you're asking. Well, power outage we need at our house because my computers and televisions <laughs> are on. I want to thank you so much for coming thank down and joining so much. us. And thank you. I'm so glad to welcome you tonight to Expanded Learning Horizons. Thank you for joining us. And I'm Connie Cooper, and I'm the director, and you're going to meet our staff. And tonight we've got some wonderful families who have come to enjoy the evening and to share with you their experience with our services. So enjoy this trip through Expanded Learning Horizons.
My favorite thing about this program was that she really helped me focus on my homework time and she really helped me reduce the amount of time that I needed on my homework and it really increased my test scores. Yeah, actually it's helped me in my study habits just to learn to put like more time aside for studying and I took a couple classes for becoming a master's student and those were really helpful with my grades. They went up actually, so I really recommend it. Uh, she's just been like helping me find a career and uh, then a uh, college major that goes along with it. My goals in college, um, I really want to pursue the nursing field. I took care of my grandmother for three years and she passed away for Alzheimer's disease. So it was really a big inspiration for me to pursue that career and I just feel that this program has really made my dreams they've made me feel like it can also come possible. But uh, Christy has helped me narrow it down to that, and now I'm just going around to different colleges and interviewing the people there to see which field of engineering I want to go into. Well, I've been wanting to go to Point Loma for quite a few years now, and I was afraid with my SAT scores and my GPA wasn't high enough, I just didn't feel like I had like college material pretty much, but they've, being in this program has helped me so much, just boosting my aspects of like where I want to go. I, they've given me the chance to actually go to my dream college. I'm really proud of my son. He was able to finish uh, and graduate in three and a half years rather than four, and that was uh, that was wonderful because that does save a lot of money. Now he is uh, looking at going to law school. When I think about colleges and where I want to go, some of my top choices might be uh, UCSD, UC Santa Cruz, um, Chico, San Luis Obispo, and um, SDSU. Sarah, do you think that um, our time together was beneficial to you as far as the college admissions process? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> what part of it was most beneficial for you? Doing the essays, like making sure they're quality and good enough for college as an applicant. The program was quite helpful, it was mainly with my SAT scores because I had a slight issue with that. Anyway, they really did help me raise it. I raised it by over about 200 points, which helped me get into the main college, the, my first choice for the college I wanted. And after I graduated from there, three and a half years later, I found myself wishing that they actually had offered an LSAT one too, because I just took the LSAT not too long ago. And I did end up taking a class for that, but I, I really wished it was here because I really liked the people here too. The financial aid, if um, just being me, not knowing really where to go with the financial aid, um, it just, it was such a help. I figured that, you know, just the money that she was able to find in financial aid and grants and that I would never have been able to find. So I just figure, you know, this is paid for itself. This, um, her going to this and, and the help from here is just um, more than paid for itself. With the uh, financial aid, I didn't think we would be able to qualify for financial aid. And uh, interestingly enough, we were able to with just a few minor changes. So overall, the program was great. I have a daughter also who was in eighth grade at the time we came in to visit. <clears throat> and uh, when, we, when we left, she says, I'm going to be doing this. And I said, yes, you are. So she started. She has a full scholarship to UCSB. Um, I've gone through the financial aid program, which has actually um, helped me with going to Chapman. I'm in Chapman University currently, which um, I use the counseling services here to um, help me prepare for college. Two children, one ready to go to college, the other one about three years away, 
the oldest one was promised to go to a private university and she had been accepted to New York University. I was going through a divorce. I had a trouble with my uh, partnership, my law practice. And uh, big trouble with the divorce as a matter of fact financially. And I didn't know what to do because I wanted to make sure that my promise to my eldest child to go to New York University was gonna work. And Connie actually did it. She helped me with the financial aid. She was just starting out. It was her first office in her house. And uh, I can never thank her enough. I would like to introduce you to Bob Ebert. He's a financial planner here in Tustin. And I'm gonna let him talk. Well, we met uh, in the late 80s. Shannon was a junior, I think, at Foothill. Mm -hmm. A fairly talented softball player. And we were thinking that maybe there was some uh, arrangement we could make uh, for her uh, to continue on with that and uh, we had some unique situations with our son who was just a year younger than that. Um, Shannon first step went to Orange Coast for a couple of years with your guidance she was not quite ready to, to take that big leap and uh, she finished up her degree at Cal State Fullerton uh, got a teaching certificate. You even helped me uh, as she was finishing up her undergraduate degree because she was a little bit older and you had pointed out something that she was eligible for a program that I didn't even know she was eligible for and it was a passing comment that I had made at one of our Kiwanis meetings and I mean that was a godsend for her because it really came at the, at the right time she applied for it and was eligible and she got it. And they were also quite helpful with the financial aid stuff because if we hadn't done that, we, we, there was a whole lot of money out there we didn't know existed. And with the price for college, it was about 20, 22 a year. I was only there for three and a half, so that's still a bit. But over half of that was paid for by the government and grants. One student that was uh, a big success for us came to us um, about two years ago, really had no clue what he was doing in terms of preparing for college. Um, his mom was a single mother, um, really trying to make ends meet, and so we did some extra work with him. He took an SAT class and an SAT2 writing class as well. And also he came in and did a lot of extra work and we were able to kind of guide him through the process. Um, when he started, he had in the 900s on his SAT, and he ended up getting a 1250, which was really enormous leap for him. And he got admitted to UC Santa Barbara, Chapman, and Point Loma. Um, and he ended up going to Point Loma University, actually. But it was really nice that he had all these options at the end, and I think he just felt a lot more confident about going to college and sort of knowing what to expect. And um, so that was really nice experience to be able to be a part of. It's just been 